Okay. I believe we're coming up on game five, uh, second game of week two. No, third Actually, game of week two. Third game of week two. You're correct, sir. Um, this uh, game loading up will be between um, Tall and his uh, Flying Circus, as it's been nicknamed, and Leah and the... Oh, what is Leah playing? Uh, this was... is the Necromatic and... That's right, the Undead. Yeah, Metal Stalladian Dog. I'll be... We'll be getting the team plans Welcome shortly back, here. Uh, this obviously was in uh, the Iceberg Towers, uh, Tall's uh, stadium, which has the Magic Dome. Um, Tall was down two players going into this game. Um, he wound up with a Norris uh, lineman and... Continue he did. Pan? It might have just been the one. Um, it was just the one. Uh, Leah was the uh, is the other journeyman with a zombie. Viragard the Revive. Right. She should actually have two. So a lineman uh, and possibly and a skeleton. And a skeleton. Ewan postmortem there. Uh, left field. Yes, yes. On the kickoff, or I mean the flip here. I'm pausing at the kick animation as a heads up. Yep. I will do the same. So it looks like uh, Tall's going to have the ball first. Interesting that she pulled her um, her guard big guys off the line for this, but I guess... Maybe not feeling confident uh, to try and uh, big boy against big boy, even though with the guard, does out uh, power them. True, but you also have two big guys there that, that do start with mighty blow. Uh, you know, losing one of the mummies, like, <laughs> right off the bat would have uh, really hurt her this game. I tap over just, oh, this game. Yes, Leah, this and game. And the kickoff. Nice I'm pausing up the animation. Yeah. You're in the uh, call out. There we go. Nice weather canceled out by Magic Dome. Yep. Um, hitting skip in three, two, one, press. Okay. With a deep, deep kick. Right. And of course, here comes the big guys. Uh, just smacking those four skeletons on the line. Interesting that he went with the middle on going on the outside to free up the Croxigar. Um, obviously, it looks like he was attempting to use him for a potential cage up there. Uh, would you have not valued your paid for skeletons a little more and maybe put the journeyman on the line? Possibly, yes. All right, the ball is secured. I believe that is Rara Sputin, his go-to ball carrier. It is, but with a one on the pass, resulting in a turnover. So we currently have already started off with our bonehead. As noted, he has a 100% uh, increase in bonehead chances by having the two uh, big guys both notably with their prehensile tails that have been causing much havoc in people's very dodgy typical play styles. Werewolf blitz into Conrad, the Saurus. Frenzy forced to follow up, but gets the werewolf down into the field. Giving Ra Rasputin a bit of a threat. Hopefully, Walleye Joe will have some assistance there in the near future. Guard pieces moving up, making use of the boneheaded churn to safely navigate as we collapse on the line of scrimmage. Flesh golem resulting in nothing in the push, slowly nudging that Saurus towards the sidelines and the ever-eager fans. 
with his propensity for the leap, I, I believe I heard Coach Scoring here to return. Do you think it would have been better maybe for the, I don't know, the soft field stadium upgrade as opposed to worrying so much about the weather? You're, you're talking for tall? Yes, the, um, is the I believe AstroTurf is the name of it off that top. Very, very uh, that's the hard one. Yeah, the, the, okay, the, the yeah, other one. The elf grass, elf grass. But, um, there you go. Does that apply to? Uh, it's anytime leaf? you fall on the ground, if I'm not mistaken. Any, anytime you fall on the ground on a go for it. Ah. Which to um. He does make a lot of. He he does. Um. But uh, usually the the elf grass winds up favoring slower teams more than um, the fast teams. Yeah, the ones because you have to go you for would it think more. It would be good for um, for the elves, but I knowing that he he's such a strong preference to pass, having constant nice weather I, is something that definitely is always going to um, you know be a boon for him. But again, you know, the, the grass, it, it could have helped him just as much with as many go for it as he does. All right, we've got a Skelly Blitz on the Journeyman Norse, resulting in a push. I know watching this game live from... Um, I really wanted to see him delay for a turn or two with the catcher. I don't remember if uh, Grasshopper did. It is very early, and she is very mobile with uh, Owa, the wolf there. Mm -hmm. Now, the wolf did come down. And no, we, we decide on a very early score with Gregor the Grasshopper. It's choice, I suppose. But I you're mean, giving a, a batchy team a lot of turn time to march down the field. Very, very true. I mean, the, the werewolf would have been able to make it to any square with 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 one go for it, I believe. Um, so I mean, scoring, but but I, I would have really liked to have seen him to just move right up next to the 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 touchdown and force her to really position to be able to, um, to try to knock you down. Get. But I mean, they the... don't have dodge, so... Uh... Well, the kick off. The Another nice weather canceled out. I'm going to avoid hitting skip so we stay relatively synced. I'm still on the uh, setup. Setting up. I'm not sure Even how better, I will try to hit skip. I don't have any animations turned on. Oh, well, that makes a big difference. Yes, I, I turned them off because it kept causing issues. All right, so kickoff. Nice weather straight again. Into, and straight into some dashing. All right. I'm on the knockout on the Croxigar, Thomas. And we are out of that animation as a note. And we continue our pu just pushing on the LOS. It was getting one LOS removal, particularly the, the one of your big boys out of the way is a boon for the Metal Single Lady and Dog team. Definitely. Following it up with a stun to boot. So two armor breaks off the LOS. You're opting to attempt to pick up the ball with the werewolf, resulting in a turnover. Unfortunately, oh whoa, is just not not uh, coming to grips with his job. We'll note with that score, Gregor did level up, so do look forward to seeing what Coach Tall has decided to give. Uh, Someone I believe is between him, it was him and Santa have been his go-to ball carriers. Mm -hmm. Catchers do have a tendency to uh, kind of be ball hogs for scores. Go big guy. 
And he who ate the bench getting a, a little nibble on Eddie, resulting in just a knockdown. Would have liked to see um, he who ate the bench kind of push up as a threat for a circle around. Yeah, I think two squares left at the least. At least. I, I do believe I said this in the previous match by Coach Leah. I am I am envious on just how strong this uh, this front line com combination she's got. If, when it, this thing gets low, it is going to be a nightmare. Right. I mean, she basically put all of her uh, her points into leveling up roughly about half of the team with, with the potential of just dropping those other players and, uh, and bringing in some more of the more... Of the more better necromantic players i'm i'm expecting her to to, to to wind up adding some ghouls and whites to the team and then drop some of these skeletons but we'll see we get a run ross butin attempting a leap uh and then falling on his arse when the skeleton tells him to stay put burning his remaining reroll for the half yep. but santa with the pickup and the dodge now out alone with a mighty blow werewolf just giving it the the, the, the lip drop and smack. And Hollowed Ben has been KO'd. Goes with the, goes attempting the two die into the flesh golem. Resulting in his Saurus getting laid out. Yes. I haven't seen a whole lot of two die uh, uphill attempts so far this season. Right. Uh, if, if I remember right, this was uh, the start of quite a few. We got Rara spew and take it off the field. That is a critical positional and loses yes. a movement. Minus one movement, process. which means that is going to be a miss next game. Uh, going into week three. If I call, he is your opponent week three. That is that is quite crucial. The lack of dodge coming into play here. As the werewolf now secures the ball. Yes. Several people being able to pull back and actually set up a cage if need be. That push kind of changed that. Okay. Getting the pals when she needs it. Um, yeah. This is becoming more and more uphill for the circus. You're you're a score ahead, but you're missing now one of your strongest meat shields and your. Uh, ability to move the ball aggressively. And you can correct me, but I believe um, the Necromantic, the um, Leah's team, is actually going to get the kickoff second half, right? I do believe this was Tall's, Tall's uh, half, yes. Yes. So, so long as she can't secure her positions, she can either play out for the draw, or attempt to get 2-1 up if we can get this werewolf downfield to some degree. There's enough pieces on the board for uh, Polis Null to stall and hold off the, the score, especially with Je Jeffries the bear getting up back up yes. and not getting put back down. The four movement tomb guardian marching back to give the skink a little, uh, little pressure. Right. If that ball gets knocked loose with Santa down there, there is a potential 2-0 half. It's not an ideal situation. Yeah. 
go with the Werewolf. Three die blitz under the skink, resulting oh, in dodge, no tackle, and, KO. and pow. There we go. Walleye Joe is now off to take a wee little nap. That's a <laughs> the Werewolf goes to, to the sideline again. I feel like if a certain event happens, that I'm going to have to uh, post something in Discord here shortly. I mean, uh, it's not there's not enough pl eh, not enough players active on that side that it shouldn't happen. But Coach Leah does have a history with the sideline. The Bears run animation. I, a thing of joy. Pure, pure joy. Now see, I would have preferred Gregor to actually have moved up one next to the bear. I'd mention this live as well, um, because the wolf most likely, since she does it a lot, is going to do the blitz push, right? By having him up one, if he if she doesn't knock him down first. It's time to help you then have the assist from the bear. Then you have the assist with the bear, but even if um, she does knock okay. him down, with frenzy no, would have pulled him into the, the bear. Is about to get punched above and below the bear. So no matter what, you're not getting the assist because of the no, skelly no, mark. No, it's, it's more you want to draw the werewolf next to the bear. The bear, yes. Which it, then you, you, the risk of dodging out against our aforementioned mentioned if that's the square tail. he's standing in the, with the frenzy. That's the square the bear hat. I mean, the werewolf has to move to. Now, of course, kind of freed up and went the other direction, but. Watch it grab me, bozos. Two turns to score. Gets a couple go for it. The sideways go for it was a little questionable. Instead of working one more square down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares away. Freeze up the bear. So now requiring another go for it attempt to make the score. Absolutely have to stop him or her. The bear makes it go for it. And that is now a dodge out from Prehensile Tail. Mm. That's going to be a pretty mean dodge. But it also, with the way he set it up, forces her to go up and around. I don't so, think she has enough movement, yeah. She, yeah, she doesn't have enough movement, but she can blitz down into... Into Gregor. Into Gregor. Frenzy out. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Like, you go for the... You take a push if you got it instead of the do, uh, a knockdown of any kind. Putting the skeleton... Oh, no. The skeleton being one up or one down. It, yes, it's giving the assist she needs while canceling out. Double down. Right. Always smiling. Now I've managed to be a couple seconds behind you now. There's the boat down. Unfortunate. But as we noted, it is going into her half as uh, we proceed here. Alright, halftime. Beautiful dome. Very well attended. The Croc score gets up. And the thrower gets up. Skink stays down. Time to rise and shine, some of those sneakies. Alright, I've got kickoff here with a blitz. I'm gonna hold off until you are ready, sir. They've kicked yep. the ball to the opponents. Now it's time to think defensively. Alright, kicking off. Blitz and clicking skip now. All right, it forced me to, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, I was good trying timing. to do it as quick as we could, so I think it worked out pretty well. All right, but the blitz, a deep enough kick for as mobile a team as he is, I 
fairly confident that Leah should be able to secure this ball with Santa as far back as he is. Yeah. Definitely too deep to, to have the potential of a steal. But he is, I mean, pushing down to kind of threaten if you don't pick this up. He, he definitely does have the option to steal it with Santa. Unity is strength. There's also the threat of it being right next to the sideline if you fumble it out of bounds. I mean, they can go anywhere. Benefit now, uh, as a result of the last game, is if he had his, a catcher on both sides, being able to react to wherever the bounce is. Yeah. So at least you have the, the, the saving grace that if it bounces left field, his catcher is now right field. And pretty walled off via all the meat. His other catcher uh, is very far back there right now. It looks like he's just playing safety. Werewolf coming in and getting knocked down the cow. I'm sure there's a joke there about a dog attacking a cow, but... Where's the beef? Smack the player to relieve his team. Well done. And get skeletons moving back. That should be enough for the two die. It is resulting in the pow on Spiny Dan. Resulting in a death. Yes. Unfortunately, Coach Tall is not present to... Uh... Uh, Spiny Dan took the agility down. He will have a zero agility. <laughs> zero agility, Saurus. And... Yes. Oh, the raise the dead. A rare success. So much so that the card won't even load his image. An accurate pass goes in. It goes in. Just move the ball forward. An interesting choice. Yeah, I mean, rather than holding it back um, and moving up safely with it, just tucking it down there and hope that she's the person who picks it up. I mean, it doubles as bait. Um, if you try to uh, leap Santa in, or tr even better, try to... Yep, there he goes for the leap. Um, and a go for it. Now there's nothing stopping the werewolf from coming in and just chewing his face off. There's also, a that can get in for the assist. the uh, grasshopper up. Of course, you know... That, that is fantastic bait. Five up uh, dodge there. With Asaurus. Again, a, a choice. All this focus on the ball is against the spirit of the game. Can't yes. Leah said why she put the throw on the way. I'm gonna say that uh, throw out performance is to be expected with their. Uh, Two agility. You see now, even though knocked it down. The answer is I hate him. I forgot the high. Oh no. Uh, and as far as far as I'm concerned, that is Owo. Uh, Ma'am, I'm pronouncing it correctly. And we get two skulls burning the reroll. Uh, but I believe Coach Hall has a leader on the field, so has one left in the bank. Two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> I definitely got uh, Santa is the leader. Um, that's, uh, that's Nerves. Is that Nerves? Yeah, that's, I forget the exact name of it, but that's the one that, um, Nerves of Steel, yeah, yes, nerves okay. Nerves of Steel. That was false, Jim. They're going for the ball. Mighty Blow tosses the ball. Back center field. I didn't know there was once a skating coach who used to hire his throwers. Two, four, six. With, just within the movement of the throw raw. Left kill taking a KO. The loner uh, uh, journeyman uh, Norse lineman. Yes, the flying circus is having less and less players on the field. Really starting to add up. 
I believe they're down to six now. Yes. Go the throw raw. Tempting to pick up the ball, secures it. Like that. I hope he knows what he's doing. And we do again have confirmed that unfortunately Spiny Dan did not get to join the metal single ladies team. Decided instead to make a purse out of him, as uh, I'm sure the end result. No sense in wasting good leather. Throw Raw, uh, marching downfield, uh, that is Hollowed Ben, as I have to remind myself of names. Apparently an unwanted player, says Leah. Um, she uh, has a degree of disdain for the Throw Raw. I'm not, I'm not sure why, it's a, a decent piece. Decent, not great. Frenzy. Does manage to get the down on the second hit. And moves the werewolf into a threatening center position. This player likes to be well assisted in the fight. Both the bear and the croc scored down now. And again, that huge hard line. And, and, uh, Here comes Julie. Her more speedy, or his more speedy pieces, but they're not going to be able to move much with having to stand up. Ooh, there's Eddie's down. That's why I love this guy. Just a broken jaw. Yeah, uh, Mystic's game on a skeleton. A, a zero SG skeleton at that. And a failure to regen. Get the leap out with the attempted blitz and the re-roll says the red with an injury. Double pows and removes the throw raw for the game. And next, okay. Uh, a correction: it was not a purse; it was Croc skin shoes. Says Leah. Okay, I somehow managed to stagger a couple seconds behind you, but yes, the werewolf pick up fail. That is still a very loose ball, and the turns are whittling away as the bear does manage to stand up. They have a pass attempt coming up. I went ahead and paused it. Alrighty. Alright, I've, I've just remembered to hit the pause as the ball is hitting the ground. Okay. Close three, two, one. But it's still hard to play. Turn over. All right. Turn over. All now I do remember Tall mentioning that that wasn't an intentional pass. He was trying to leap out before the pass. But with nerves of steel, it wouldn't have made a difference as long as the roll was the same. Oh, whoa, secures the ball. Yes. Now, most coaches would look at this and say, really, there's not much I can do. But um, we do have the circus. If nothing else, you can, uh, uh, especially now getting a skull with no rerolls left. Scrum it out, hope to try and farm out some SCP. There's always something you can do Bonehead. without giving up. Bonehead on Jeffries. Six up, dodge out. Remember. Five up, dodge out with the, the, the 
Was it a five up? It was a five up. The players but a skull. Yes. Oh, that's right. I was like, where was his blitz? It was the bare boneheading was his blitz. Yes. Sometimes hard to see the icon uh, there under the gears turning. But we do get the single go for it to get a guard assistance in there. And the Tomb Guardians again making much use of the bear's drooling motion. Dodges away from the prehensile tail, right there. An interesting choice to bring over the two assists and then not blitz out instead? Oh. No, again, Frenzy could have been a, a disastrous situation, but so can prehensile tail. Yeah. As has been evident quite a bit through this particular season and against this particular team. Within grasping range of the fans. Uh, Lee would like, no, that's five individual pickups just by the werewolf, um, resulting in still zero scores from those pickups. Grace of a snowflake that pours on the blizzard. Got Santa coming down and just getting the assist up there? Uh, for a bonehead. Yeah. So. The bear doesn't dodge out. <laughs> oh no. Really? Don't let them. Uh, it does dodge out straight to the, the sidelines. So if nothing else can't be fouled. But there being nearly no play... In fact, there are no pieces that could contest. Owo does manage to secure the score at last. Tying it up. But they finally did it. They're back in the match. Just in time. Five. That about rounds up. I don't think with the movement seven without significantly good. You know what? No, we stand for. Depends on where she she puts her stand firm solely in the back. The stand firm would absolutely deny any attempt at a one turn score. Possibly. I mean. The the fact that she moved so many players back there and him not really having very many pieces the the one one turn was probably out of our question with only movement seven because um, you would have had to gain at least three more um, movement to go for nice it. weather again <laughs> three nice weather cancellations for the game. Um, yes. And curious again nice that she weather puts canceled. nice weather puts Three her times. paid for skeletons on the line and takes the the uh, journeyman and puts it in the safe safety line in the back. Yes, that's quite a mismatch, Bob. I'm aware that these are relatively expendable pieces, but why not expend the expendable expendable piece? Overall, a uh, very good game. Far more use of uh, the mobility of many of the play pieces have than uh, could have been shown. Robert Sputin does get the MVP with a, the minus movement. That is oh, that is going to be a, such a critical shift in how that piece can be utilized. Right now, the, the, more the, the, the movement will be canceled out. He that's going to be a downgrade. Um, so it's not a permanent injury anymore, but he will ah, miss next game. Miss this game, okay. Um, which, of course, uh, I believe that's the game we have coming up shortly. Um, the first of the week three games. Right. Um, and Scared of the Dark gets the MVP, which secures just enough SPP for a level up. Um, and it looks like Mighty Blow... Uh, if I'm correct in how I'm looking at this, Mighty Blow was the selection Coach Leah made for Scared of the Dark. Statistics here. One good pass, one good catch. Decent amount of SPP earned over the lot. Now let's take a look at these boneheads real quick. A 76% bonehead, again, with the ch two chances per t turn. Right. Not bad at all. 
All right, and that's where we will fade out for the yep, time being. That will be it for this one, and uh, catch you guys next time.